Well, we want to address some of the questions that you've submitted via email. And Pat, this first one is from Val. And she says, Pat, I have a friend who asks God everything before she does it. Is this going overboard or should we all be doing this? <laughs> The Bible says as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they're the sons of God. And if you will be in harmony with it, God will lead you. Jesus said, the Father has not left me alone because I always do the things that please him. So he had a constant communication, asking, listening, asking, listening. So I, th I think, well, I, I won't, well, that's enough. Okay, this is Dorothy who says, Lately I've heard preachers saying to plead the blood of Jesus. What does this mean and where do I find it in the Bible? Well, the blood of Jesus is the death of Jesus, and the death of Jesus is what uh, puts sin. It's the covering of our sin, right? Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the covering of our, of our sins. And uh, you can go into the Old Testament and see the... Uh, the Ark of the covering, the, the lid of covering was a caporeth, and the Bible says Jesus is our covering. The blood of Jesus covers our sin. So we plead the blood. What we're saying is, I'm saying to Satan, my sins are covered by the blood of Jesus. That's what, that's what it means. Okay. Hey, this is Susan who says, I heard a pastor say that Satan can smell, see, and hear. He said Satan hears our prayers to God. I can understand Satan attacking us because we say negative and worrisome things to others, but I've always believed that when we're in prayer, it's between God and us. What are your thoughts? You know, I'm very frank, the Bible isn't too explicit on that mm -hmm. subject, but uh, I, I believe that it doesn't matter if he hears it or not. You know, if we're, still if we're in touch, the <laughs> Bible God. says the devils believe and tremble. I mean, when, when you're seeking God and crying out to God, um, the devil's on the run. Yes. And it doesn't matter if he's listening or not. So he, he hears a shout of victory like devil in the name of Jesus. I bind your power. So he hears it. So big deal. Stand on your position yeah, in the Lord. Right. Yes. This is Annie who says, my husband does not want me to tithe on the money I earn at my job. Am I being unsubmissive if I go ahead and give tithes and offerings to the church I attend? You know, we are wives that would be submissive to their husbands. But if a husband steps out of his relationship with the Lord, I think he loses his authority. And I think a, a, a husband who forbids a wife to give of her money unto the Lord in obedience to God, he stepped out of his authority. So that's all. <laughs> yeah, a, a wise husband, I see you do this with Dee Dee, partners with his wife. Oh, absolutely. In and they're on a, a well, level basis we with that. We agree together. Of course, in terms of money, she leaves me alone. <laughs> She trusts me. <laughs> and you trust her. And I trust her. She is so good. It's like that woman in the 31st chapter of Proverbs, my dear wife.